If chaos is change itself, then Zeech, more than any other dark power, embodies chaos in its purest, most primal form. Therefore, no other god of chaos warrants more of our fearful respect, our tireless resistance, and our unflagging loyalty to the Emperor. From Inquisitor Gallianus Dirk at the Jellico Conclave, now declared Heretica Extremis. The psychic entity or sentient force in the Immaterium known as Zeej is perhaps the most enigmatic of the so-called Chaos Gods or Ruiner's powers. Zeej, the changer of ways, embodies mortals' desires for evolution, improvement, innovation, and progress, as well as their dreams of wealth, prosperity, and a better tomorrow. While many perceive these motivations as healthy, wholesome, and perhaps even necessary to mortal existence, Zinch, the great conspirator, works to corrupt the aspirations and ambitions of humanity and Xenos alike, and to leverage these hopes and dreams for its own nefarious ends. The other dark gods tend to act upon mortal society more directly. Corn with bloodshed and slaughter, Nurgle with disease and decay, and Slanesh with the allure of ecstasy and decadence. However, Zeech and its servants, human, Xenos, and demon, scheme and conspire quietly and stealthily to guide and influence the machinations of mortal society. The changer of ways favors subtle weapons, flattering words, enticing temptations, healthy ambitions stoked to traitorous or immoral ends, and above all, schemes within endless schemes. Many a politician, scholar, military officer, or other mortal leader has begun a promising career, altruistic project, or worthwhile intellectual investigation only to find themselves perhaps prompted by a seemingly well-intentioned colleague who secretly served the great conspirator, making moral compromises, moving up the hierarchy at the expense of others, or taking ethically questionable shortcuts. Even with the best of intentions, or perhaps because of them, these people are vulnerable to the machinations of Zeej, which conspires to turn such individuals into cogs in its infernal machine, fueled by endless schemes, lies, plots, and deceits. And now, onto its manifestation. While the other dark gods adopt relatively fixed forms, much of the time, Zeej manifests in a multitude of guises. It is often referred to as a he, with the masculine gender, though in fact, like all the entities composed of psychic energy called the Chaos Gods, it has no gender. The firmament surrounding Zeej is heavy with magic. It weaves like liquid smoke about its head, forming subtle and interwoven patterns. Forms of places and people appear in the smoke as Zinj contemplates their fate. Those who appear there will inevitably find their minds, bodies, or destinies mutating into strange new forms, for none can come to Zinj's attention and remain unchanged. 
Nonetheless, over the eons, certain traits have emerged in its appearance. Its associated iconography, the material presence of the gods' demonic followers, and the nightmares its visage implants into the minds of those who witness it. Such descriptions often reveal it as a thin, lanky sorcerer, either male or female, in robes that continually change color. Its head hangs low beneath its shoulders, so that head and body are one, and its arms are long and spindly. From above its burning eyes spring two sweeping horns, the spiraling extremities of which crackle with arcane fire. Some description posit that Zinch's demonic skin is covered in faces and mouths that shift, slide, emerge, and are subsumed back into the unnatural flesh, crawling with constant change. They whisper secrets dark and terrible, leering at and mocking onlookers. As the Changer of Ways speaks, these faces repeat its words with subtle but important differences or provide a commentary that throws doubt upon the statements uttered by the entity's primary or natural mouth. Some of the Ordo Maleus's demon hunters, however, realize that these perceived consistencies, like so many things associated with the Great Deceiver, may constitute a ruse of one kind or another. After all, consistency is often part and parcel of the most convincing lies and confidence schemes. Although many have described Zinch in this way, others have portrayed the Dark God as multi-colored smoke, crackling energy of an unknown type that burns or mutates the objects it touches, faces in mist, a writhing mass of fleshy protoplasm, and burning, dark tongue runes that hang in space and sear the very air, sometimes all within the same observation. Others show malformed birds, fish, or perverse hybridized versions of the two that swim through the air and fly through the sea. Indeed, birds and fish figure heavily in descriptions of Zinj, in the gods' iconography, and in the shapes taken by many of its demonic and mutated mortal followers. For instance, Zinch's most powerful servants, the greater demons known as the Lords of Change, resemble giant humanoid birds. Its screamers and the discs that carry Zinch's champions to battle often appear as flying aquatic manta rays, tirelessly hunting through both the great ocean of the Empyrean and the air of real space like the legendary Car Caradons of Primordial Terror. Other commentators have suggested that Zinj, the great mutator, has no fixed shape at all. Its tangible form, when it chooses to manifest physically, is a mass of constantly shifting flesh. Thus, the constantly fluctuating material body of the Changer of Ways resembles many of its creations, such as the gods, demons, and its domain in the realm of chaos itself, which similarly has no stable form. Still others have posited that its physical forms are simply images that mortal minds create to try to perceive and understand something far more abstract, an agent of pure change, mutation, and flux. Such a form is more akin to metaphor than reality, and perhaps suits this ruiner's power to a greater degree than eyes of flesh or metal could possibly capture. 
If some truth lies in this line of reasoning, then perhaps mortal minds have come to associate Zinch with birds and fish, creatures of air and water respectively, because both of these animals inhabit fluid environments. Wind, tide, waves, temperature, turbidity, and bodies in motion constantly reshape the air and water in which these organisms live, making them fitting symbols for the changer of ways. As with much concerning the great changer, however, in the end all is conjecture and supposition. For attempting to know the true form of the master of mutation is to embrace madness. As any description of Zinj will be inaccurate and prone to the manipulations of the great deceiver, it follows that the most accurate descriptions of it will acknowledge their inherent imprecision. Any attempt to fix this dark god in words Images or ideas, no matter for what purpose, scholarly, tactical, self-serving, or unholy, will fail. Even if mortal minds could possibly perceive, comprehend, and communicate the true nature of Zinj at one moment, that nature would change the next, rendering the previous understanding obsolete. As such, whether one's goal is to remain loyal to the Emperor of Mankind, to serve the purpose of a Xenos species, or to explore the ways of chaos for reasons scholarly or dark, one may best be served by considering the architect of fate only at the periphery of one's mind's eye. For even those who acknowledgedly sail upon the shifting breeze of Zinj can never see the true face of the Chaos God who wears a thousand masks.